blessing of God Almighty, let me say good afternoon, Ghana, and welcome to, to the Jubilee House, Accra, and for the commemorative tree planting as part of the Green Ghana Day, dubbed Let's Go Planting. I am, by the grace of God, Jerry Ajololo, and I welcome you ever so warmly. This afternoon, we take pride in welcoming in our midst a man whose words have inspired us to create a greener and a healthy Alhaji Dr. Mahamadou Baumia. Tree of the President of the Republic, Nana. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, the Honorable Chief of Staff, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we gather this afternoon at the request of the President of the Republic in our efforts to create a greener Ghana by planting five million trees. What we're going to do this afternoon is a commemorative event to mark this great day. It gives me pleasure to invite to set the tone for this afternoon the ever resourceful Minister of Lands and Natural Resources. Make welcome the Honorable Samuel Abu Jinapo. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, Madam Chief of Staff, Secretary to the President, Chief Executive Officer of the Forestry Commission, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, we are assembled here this afternoon, pursuant to your vision and instruction to witness the planting of the commemorative tree for the launch of the Green Ghana Day. Across the country, Ghanaians and indeed residents of Ghana are engaged in the planting of some five million trees. Reports across the country, Mr. President, indicate that Ghanaians have embraced your call and are enthusiastically and actively planting trees. I should point out that Ghana's forest cover, as at 1900, stood at some 8,200,000 hectares. It has been depleted over the years by an astonishing 80% to the current state of 1,600,000 hectares. This situation is a result of years of degradation, deforestation, lack of effective afforestation and action. Ghana's forest cover is depleting at a very alarming and unsustainable rate. And the time to do something about it is now. The guiding principles of the Green Ghana Day as envisioned by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nana Adodan Kwakufuado, are as follows. One, we seek to plant a minimum of five million trees today. Two, the logistics, resources, funding, manpower, and participation in this exercise are national, broad-based, non-partisan, citizenship-owned, and anchored on collective action. Three, this will be a yearly exercise which increases in the number of trees each Green Ghana Day, with the goal of 100 million trees being planted in a day, all within the second term of the Akufuado presidency. Green, Green Ghana clubs in our educational institutions will be set up to support our efforts. Four, economic and fruit trees, such as timber, rosewood, neem, wawa, mango, orange, coconut, are to be planted to serve as both forest cover and investment so as to contribute to the growth of the economy. Five, the seedlings planted will be nurtured, nursed, and monitored to maturity. A monitoring team has been constituted and chaired by the dependable Chief Executive Officer of the Forestry Commission, Mr. John Aloti, which will present quarterly reports on how the trees are growing. And at the first anniversary of the 2021 Green Ghana Day, that is 11 June, 2022, a comprehensive report on how well we have done with the 5 million trees will be submitted. The survival of the seedlings planted today is more important than the planting. We intend to do everything possible, Mr. President, to ensure that we are trans and natural resources. I thank the President and several other policies across the country. Mr. President, and wherever you are in Ghana, plant a tree. For planting a tree with green Planting a tree makes you a citizen and not a spectator. Planting a tree will help fix our forest cover. Planting a tree will help protect our water bodies. And planting a tree is noble and godly. Green Ghana, let's go planting. I thank you for your attention. 
We're grateful to you, Ghana's Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, the Honorable Samuel Abujinapo. Indeed, the survival of these seedlings we plant today is far more important than even the planting. It is for which reason, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it falls to the CEO of the Forestry Commission, the implementing arm of the ministry, to walk us through how the sustainability of this effort will be achieved. Please welcome Mr. John Aluti. Your Excellency, Mr. President, um, Mr. Vice President, Honorable Chief of Staff, uh, Honorable uh, Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, um, Ms. Honorable Samuel Abudinapo, MP Damango, uh, Ministers of State, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Since the launch of the, Ghana, uh, the Green Ghana Project by the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, the Forestry Commission and numerous stakeholders have worked tirelessly across the length and breadth of Ghana to ensure the fulfillment of this objective. We have been overwhelmed by the support we have received for this ambitious project. We have been extremely impressed by the commitment and enthusiasm exhibited by our chiefs, religious leaders, school children, civil society groups, MMDAs, the embassies, and ordinary Ghanaians, many of whom troop to our offices and tree nurseries to pick up seedlings as as well as travel from uh, far and near uh, to areas where we have designated uh, for seedlings. Our travels across the nation to monitor progress of preparatory activities and to create awareness have shown quite clearly the determined spirit of the Ghanaian to respond to issues relating to the environment, even during a pandemic, and has confirmed that with the right leadership and motivation, Ghanaians are willing and capable of confronting the challenges of our time. Today, as we gather here to witness the uh, ceremonial planting by your excellencies, I wish to confirm that we have distributed almost seven million seedlings across the country. Both economic timber trees, ornamental trees, and fruit trees. Our team are out in the field lending support and facilitating the planting exercise. Beyond the Green Ghana Day, we have put in place measures to ensure that the planted trees will be nurtured and protected. Our district monitoring teams will undertake quarterly inspections and pay follow-up visits to all institutions and groups who received seedlings during this initiative. It is our expectation that next year, when we gather to commemorate the day, we will also use the occasion to award schools, institutions, and individuals who have performed exceptionally in taking care of their trees. Mr. President and Vice President, will today be planting a tree called the Tree of Life, uh, Lignum Vitae. The plant derives its name from its medical uh, potency. The Lignum Vitae resin has been used over several decades to treat a variety of med medical conditions. Its wood is regarded as one of the heaviest and hardest in the world. Let me take the opportunity to take you through some of the uh, highlights so far the steps in planting trees are concerned. First, you choose a location that would allow roots to spread and branches to grow freely away from building foundations, walls, and power lines. You dig a hole as deep as a root ball and twice as wide. Three, where soil is dry or there, there has been no rain for three days, you pour uh, water to fill at least half of the volume of the hole and allow the water to seep slowly into the surrounding soil. Four, remove the tree seedling from the container. Um, it may be a polythene bag. And then drop the uh, tree seedling slowly into the hole and thump the basement. Um, gently do that until you get to a level uh, that is at par with the surrounding environment. You water the tree seedling well and continue to water at least any other day until the tree is matured. Uh, I thank you uh, so much for the support you have received uh, from all and sundry. Thank you.
development has not been sustainable over the years. Deforestation and forest degradation are the greatest challenges to sustainable forest management in Ghana today. The consequential effect of deforestation and forest degradation is severe climate change, which has dire consequences for our livelihoods, specifically the drying up of our water bodies, the pollution of our waters, loss of our prime timber species, loss of biodiversity, and change in rainfall patterns and weather conditions in the country. There is thus an urgent need to reverse the trend and restore our forest resources as much as possible back to their original state. We do not have tomorrow or the day after tomorrow to do this. We have to act now. As President of the Republic and co-chair of the eminent group of advocates of the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, I'm leading the nation today, 11th June, Green Ghana Day, to plant at least five million trees across the country as part of the master plan of Ghana's Green Ghana Agenda. Government is determined to restore the lost forest cover of our country. Indeed, we're doing so through a number of policy interventions. The attempt to regulate and sanitize the small-scale mining industry is one such to help keep our forest cover and reserves intact. Today's nationwide exercise will not be a one-off event. We intend to enhance ongoing afforestation programs and see to the sustainable exploitation of our forest resources. I assure the Ghanaian people that government is determined to ensure the survival of the five million trees being planted today. Together, we must and will protect our environment and ecosystem. And we must contribute to the world's agenda at combating global warming. We have to protect planet Earth and our motherland, Ghana. I appeal to all Ghanaians to embrace the Green Ghana Initiative introduced by government and being driven by the energetic, youthful minister for lands and natural resources, the member of parliament for Damango, the Honorable Samuel Abujinapo. It is an ambitious initiative and we will make the necessary effort to sustain it. God willing, this event will be an annual one, and planting targets will be reviewed upwards every year. As I plant my own tree today at Jubilee House, the seat of the nation's presidency, I express my appreciation to our Green Ghana ambassadors, particularly First Lady Rebecca Kufuado, the Vice President, Dr. Mohamedou Baumia, Second Lady Samira Baumia, the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Alban Sumana Kingsford Bagbin, the Chief Justice, Justice Enin Yabua, the Chief of Staff at the Office of the President, Akusia Frima Ose Opare, the Asantehine Utufo Se Tutu II, the Overlord of Dagbon. Yana Mahama Bukari II, the Ochenhine, Osadifu Amwetia Ufuripenyi, the National Chief Imam, Sheikh Uzman Nuhu Sharabatu, and other prominent citizens of our country who have embraced this initiative and committed themselves to supporting this national agenda by planting a tree each. I'm equally grateful to the leaders of the Church of Pentecost the Presbyterian Church, the Methodist Church, the Catholic Church, grow and protect them to maturity. We have a collective responsibility to leave future generations and their communities with richer, 
more valuable forest and wildlife endowment than we inherited. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention and let us go planting green Ghana. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen. The President of the Republic, Nana Adudankwa Kufuadu, one more time, a resounding round of applause. Indeed, a society grows great when her men plant trees whose shades they know they will never sit under. This is how we say thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership and for the motivation you give us to do more. I can't help but notice the cloth you're wearing. My uncle, the Honorable Ifri Yakoto, tells me that it means Diakrojim Frama Ebu. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to know that Diakrojim Frama Ebu. When one tree alone takes the storm, it will break. But together, as a forest, we can withstand every storm. Please put your hands together one more time for the President of the Republic. Like the young people in Ghana are saying, Nana, you do all. And so right after this proceeding, Mr. President, I would invite you together with the minister, assisted by the chief of staff, the minister of agri and the vice president, to please proceed to the commemorative tree where we shall plant. And together, ladies and gentlemen, we shall set in motion the tree of life, the lignum vitae racing for a new lease of life for Ghana. To this end, I ask that we rise and invoke the blessings of Allah as we receive, we receive the closing prayer from Alhaji Ibrahim Ajay and thereafter the national salute. God bless you, Mr. President. May God bless the Green Ghana Day and may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please remain standing as the President of the Republic and the official party plants the commemorative tree. A little social distancing will do, please. how we reclaim our green vegetation with this bold initiative the green Ghana day let's go planting for all of you watching us on GTV the station of the nation and online on Facebook and all social media platforms we encourage you to pick a seedling from any Forestry Commission office we have a long time to go before the day closes please do well to plant a tree take a photo and use the hashtag green Ghana day let's go planting let's send the message to the whole wide world that we are enriching the center of the earth ghana with five million trees my name is jerry ajololo and on behalf of the president of the republic and from all of us here at jubilee house we say thank you 